hi guys i know you've all been waiting for this one and i'm today i'm going to be doing the house tour for everything i did for the christmas season so i'm going to go through each of the rooms i've made very festive show you where i got bits and bobs from and yeah i know a lot of people have requested this and i thought i would leave it till christmas week to actually do it because i know a lot of people don't put their decorations up till literally the last minute so i thought i would do it today i know a lot of people requested it when i did the decorate with me and my living room and my hallway and a lot of people wanted to see the rest of my house and now i make it festive um so i thought i would give you a little tour on everything what i've done uh, i'll be showing you a few bits what i got from a shopping little spring i did the other day uh, basically i went to shop disney and i put a vlog out there and i asked people if they would like to see um the other bits i got from there as well so i'm going to be going around the house as well i'm going to be showing you what i've got so you'll know where i got it from and and all that so so let's start off with the living room and then we will go through that so let's get started okay guys so i thought i'd start off in the living room because it's the heart of our home uh, we, this is where we spend most of our time so the first thing i'm wanting to show you is a fantastic company called catnip and she does fantastic wax melts for the Christmas season. Uh, also other craft stuff, so stickers, um, notebooks, stuff like that. She is an Etsy store, so I will link her below uh, so you can check her out. But this one smells incredible. This is Ginger and Spice in Candy Ken Lane. Uh, I was actually um, melting some last night and it smelled incredible and she's only just started doing wax melts so we'll go and check those out guys she is amazing um so my whole theme of the room is like dusty pinks um very very subtle uh, girly colors so i tried to keep within the theme when it came to my decorations just to make them all uh, go in with the actual theme of my room most of my baubles are from uh, the garden center if you haven't seen the shop with me at the garden center yet i will put a link below for you so you can see that one they had some amazing stuff and most of my gongs is from a lovely online company i will link below as well she does some fantastic uh, gongs uh, gnomes whatever you want to call them i've gone absolutely mad this year on them um my little fairy she actually lights up and she's from the garden center as well these um baubles they actually light up and they're from next and i just think they're really good to kind of gap fill if you've got fireplace and you just want to make it a little bit more festive and my fireplace has got my children's stockings we've had them for years and i've got a really really festive fluffy one here that's actually from next um i will put a link to next if you want to um my fan i absolutely love this he is from the garden center and yeah he is absolutely adorable and i've got a few other bits and bobs from the garden center as well so i will link as much as i can below so you can take a look yourself and then it won't be christmas without having a flame on my tv this is just really warming to me especially if it's cold outside and you just want to check social media or read a book or sit on your laptop or whatever you want to do i just find having a flame on my fire really sets off the festive season and i absolutely love it and then just coming to my sofa i've got of my more gonks uh, my pillows are actually from next um, and then i've got all of my little ornaments some of them are for from b m some of them are from a home bargains and they're really really cheap the big deer he was actually only eight pounds i think from b m which is a bargain really and i've got some more gonks there and i just absolutely love them then just over here i've got all my festive cushions again with got to have a gonk cushion I, it won't be christmas without him <laughs> so that is that then we're going to be heading off 
to my hallway just here and you would yet again seen this on the decorate with me i just absolutely love this little shelf uh, the shelf was actually from ebay a while back and then i just thought i would get a few little bits to kind of introduce christmas and the festive season so i got a few trees and um, some little fairies and this here it's got a little candle in there that's actually just a battery powered one uh, just because it's in the hallway and we don't always um, open the doors to the hallway so we wouldn't want a lit candle in the hallway and possibly burning the whole house down so that is that bit and just here I've got my I absolutely love him he is my reindeer and He's absolutely adorable. I got him from the garden centre I've been going on about. Um, yeah, he's incredible with my Christmas stocking. And this here, I was a bit cautious about because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it when it first arrived. But I thought I would put my garling over my stair um, banister and then put these lights just around it and it's really really made my whole hallway really festive and pretty and I just, oh, I just absolutely love it so just that little bit there and the lights really really complement the hallway and then just around the corner I've got a few little trees um, you've seen these I think before these were just off eBay um, and the lights came with them and they're just little battery ones which really helps and I've got my biscuit tin this was from Asda UK um, I just absolutely love it and we always put biscuits in there through the Christmas season cookies and everything delicious so that's the initial hallway so let's head over to the kitchen so as you can see this is the um, Christmas tree we have got in our kitchen we just thought because now we've got a bigger kitchen that we would have a tree just to make it a little bit more festive and we just thought when we're having our like, Christmas dinner that this would be perfect to make it all nice and festive and then just come into the kitchen area so I've got my little like fairy lights just here I just got these from Asda in the UK and then I've got all of my little stars these were just from the pan shop these little like paper decorations and these little like lights they are from Asda I think they only cost me like three pound but I just thought they were really good to just make that a little bit more bright and colourful and then everyone's got one of these at Christmas. They're really nice, but mine's about dying, to be honest. I brought it and then all the leaves decided to come off it. Then I've just got some little um, festive ones here. And as you can see, these are from Shop Disney. And you've got the little gingerbread house and the gingerbread here. And then you've got all your little gingerbread little... Um, symbols here and you got a little hat i just thought it's really really good and then the bottom of it got this little like pom-pom um bottom to it so i really really like that and you also get this one as well and that's really detailed and that's embroidery and they're both from shop disney and i really love those and i think those are around about 15 pounds you do get a third one but that's in my drawers at the moment and then I'm going to be doing some baking soon, so I just got my Santa Claus little tool here. And then this is actually what I got from, um, oh, what did I get? This was from Tiger uh, from my local town. And you got these little light little houses here. And this is what I actually got when I went to um, Shop Disney. And I did that haul and everyone wanted to see what I got as well so I got these and these are really cool and they only cost me like I think like three pound and then this candle is a non-scented non -scented candle so you can have that on all the time in the kitchen it won't taint your food and these little trees here yet again they don't light up or anything these were uh, three pound 22 so that's a random number 
but I got that and then this was I think it was about five pound I just thought I'd really good uh, on top of your kitchen side make it really festive and these ones were exactly the same and these ones were two pound 78 so yeah I think that makes it look really festive and then moving across, I got a lot of this from Asda and Primark. So this kind of like plate here, I thought it would be really good as just a backdrop. And this was from Asda. And this little cookie um, tin, you've seen this on one of my vlogs before. And this was from Primark. And then these was from Tiger. And that was from Tiger as well. And that... I'm not sure where I got that from. I don't know if it was Asda or Tiger. Not quite sure, but yeah, it's just a little like measuring in cups kind of uh, thing. So it's really good if you're doing some baking. And this I've not actually used yet. And I got that from, and I actually got that from Primark. So I just thought on the side that'd be really good just to get a little bit festive. And then this was from Tiger. And it's just a little like non-slip uh, mat. And I just thought that would be really good for Christmas season. And this is the little thing I got from Asda. And it just says let it snow. I just thought I was really good. A little added addition for the kitchen. And then everyone's been asking me about this little hot chocolate stand I've got here. I just absolutely love this and you've got your little like co um, little cookie of your Santa and your penguins and these was actually from Home Bargains so I got uh, the this one and I got that one and at the back I got the Ho 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 one and they were really really good actually just to put onto my stand this year and then at the bottom these was actually from eBay cost me around about £10 and you get three just to put your hot chocolate, marshmallows and I've just put some more marshmallow, marshmallows in that at the moment and then these little Santas here, I'll, I'll uh, link below where I got these from because I can't quite remember what the shop's called and the stand itself was from eBay and that only cost me around about £12 so it's just a little thing you can have for Christmas season to do your little hot chocolates and stuff like that and then this house here was from eBay. If I turn it around, you can actually put a little candle at the back of it just to make it a little bit more festive. Then moving to the dining side of it. This is actually my new dining table. Um, so I don't think you've seen this in my vlogs before. But I've just put a little centerpiece here. Everything you see there is from Tiger, what I got um the other day with the rest of the stuff and everything is roughly around about the same price these little lights uh came from asda and i think they only cost me around about two pounds really really cheap and cheerful so i've just put a little decoration there for the dining area just to make it a little bit more festive but i am going to be doing a decorate my table with me for christmas uh, that's going to be coming out in the next couple of days so check that one out i get all my festive stuff out and show you exactly how i decorate the table for christmas and this year it's going to be super exciting because it's a new table it's double the size of what i used to have so i can really spread stuff out and just make it more festive okay guys so coming into the bedroom um, this is my kind of normal set out for my bedding. I absolutely love um, making my bed uh, very festive for the Christmas season as you can see here. Um, I've brought a few little items. So this uh, throw over you can see. This is from Shop Disney. I just love this design. And then on the other side you've got that beautiful... Uh, really really soft and you've got like your Disney castle and little Disney ornaments I really really love this one and then coming to the other side of the bed I've got this uh, beautiful like gingerbread um, 
uh, pillowcase and quilt cover this was actually from asda and it was about i think it was only around about 12 pounds it was really really cheap um you've probably seen these if you follow my instagram um i've put loads and loads of pictures of these recently uh, these are from shop disney as well and these cushions here and here i actually got them from next and i really really love those they're really soft and luxurious i really love those ones and coming to the other side of the bed i've got this really really adorable uh, little gingerbread um hot water bottle this is i had to get this all the way from the us because i could not find it anywhere in the uk uh, starbucks is a us um company so maybe that's why i couldn't find it but he is amazing if i just turn him around and get the little bottle out i'll show you how weird that is so oh let me just get it out so look how tiny that bottle is <laughs> it's really, really tiny and it's like a shade of pink but inside the actual pocket itself you could fit a probably medium sized bottle in there um, I don't think this is going to be good enough when I'm freezing at night so definitely going to get a bigger one for that I think <laughs> but I just haven't got round to it yet um, and this little gingerbread uh, little lady she is from Shop Disney as well um and i think you might have seen this if you've watched my decorate with me this is the stocking and i actually got this from i can't quite remember now i will link it if i can find where i got it from uh, but i really love that one so yes this is the overall um bedroom look and i just find it fantastic i love it so much and i try and give it um a new festive look throughout the christmas season so this one is actually the second christmas um quilt cover i've actually put on um i will put a little picture at one side to show you the other one i have and that's very um gonk or gnomes whatever you call them kind of themed um, and i really love that one as well and there's lots and lots of pictures on my instagram and um, if you'd like to go and check that one out as well but yes i really really love this one i've just got me little uh, lights there they was just from i think they're from ebay and they actually come with the little lights as well so it just makes it really really festive and i absolutely love it so guys that is my house tour over and done with i really really hope you enjoyed uh, going around with me and showing you all the little bits and bobs i've got for christmas i really really enjoyed um doing the christmas period this year just because we're in a new house i've been able to get some new bits and bobs and just make it really nice and festive and just really, really enjoyed it this year so i really, really hope you enjoyed it yet again and i'll see you in my next one thank you guys <laughs>